Andy Pitcher from Red Panda, and I want to give a quick guide of the remote for. Today we're going to be working with uh, Tensor. So all I got to do, hold down the on switch, plug in remote four, pick one of the four modes. We're going to go with A, which is presets. Hold it down. Once that light flashes green, we're in preset mode. So what I can do here is uh, pick a sound, like we have this nice reverse. Hold down A, light flashes green. Now that's our preset. Now we can do maybe a two octaves up thing with some random. That's our B sound. Save that. Now we're there. We have our reverse sound. Instant preset switching. Uh, if we start to loop, we can switch our presets. Change the loop up like that. We also have a B mode. I'm going to reassign it. This is the remote mode. And this enables you to control Tensor remotely if you want to have this on a table or something. And then have two presets again. Next we have C mode, which may be familiar if you uh, have used the Line 6 DL4 looper. And it just kind of expands all your options to do a performance looper. So start at neutral, start a loop, overdub on it, stop it, play once, and then the last switch, which is typically halftime and reverse, one touch, which would normally be halftime, turns on time and pitch. And what this does is it enables your halftime effects, but you can also do triple time effects. You can speed it up, but change the pitch, basically go beyond what the DL4 could do. And then a double tap typically turns on your reverse, but it turns the speed knob on and off. So you could do, again, quarter speed reverse stuff. And then our last mode. Turns speed, time, pitch, and random on and off with these. So that is at a, it is a four effects. Uh, which allows 16 permutations of combinations. So I can turn speed on, and then we can turn on pitch. Random. Time. Now if we have a long next loop going, you can just kind of switch between these and create a little soundscape.